Dear students, in this unit we will talk about some selected major groups of bacteria. As we know that uh, we can classify bacteria easily on the basis of gram staining into two major groups. Those who retain crystal violet dye are called gram positive bacteria, while those bacteria who cannot retain crystal violet dye, they are called as gram negative bacteria. On the basis of uh, classification of major groups of bacteria, one of the major group bacteria can have is called proteobacteria. Proteobacteria is actually one of the largest group of bacteria. It contains different subgroups and there are so many different examples which we try to study in this unit. Now proteobacteria are actually the gram negative bacteria and they include photoautotrophs. Photoautotrophs mean they can synthesize their own food from sunlight, just like plants do. Or it could be chemoautotrophs. Chemoautotrophs, they can also synthesize their own food, but they don't need sunlight. Instead, they need different chemical compounds, which serves as the source of energy. And then we have heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are the organisms which cannot synthesize their own food, so they are dependent on the others. Some of these proteobacteria are aerobic, while other are anaerobic. And when we talk about the subgroups of uh, proteobacteria, we have alpha bacteria. Alpha bacteria include rhizobium and agrobacterium. These bacteria improve the fertility of soil. Then we have beta protobacteria. The example is nitrosomonas. They are also important in the fertility of soil. Then when we talk about gamma proteobacteria, gamma proteobacteria includes E. coli. These are the uh, bacteria which lives in the large intestine of humans and which synthesize different vitamins for humans as well. When we talk about the delta proteobacteria, these example of them includes mixobacteria, which produce mixospores, which are drought resistant and help them survive for long. Uh, the example of this is delovibrios, which is known to mount attack on other bacteria in order to fight for the resources. Then we talk about the subgroup epsilon proteobacteria. This group contains many pathogens, including Campylobacter, which causes uh, blood poisoning, and Helicobacter pylori, which causes stomach ulcer in humans. Then we have Chlamydias. They are also part a uh, major group of bacteria. These bacteria are actually parasites. They live within animal cells. The example is Chlamydia trachomatis. It causes blindness and non-gonococcal urethritis when it spreads by the sexual transmission. Then we have spirochetes. Spirochetes are helical heterotrophs and they are parasites. It includes Trypanoma pallidum, which causes syphilis. It's a human disease, sexually transmitted disease. And then we have Borrelia. Pugdorferi, which causes Lyme diseases in human. Now, cyanobacteria is another major group of bacteria which helps in the accumulation of oxygen uh, in the, on this planet in different ecosystems. They are basically photoautotrophs. They synthesize oxygen and their own food just like plants do. Now, there is a strong theory we will study in uh, next units that plant chloroplast is likely to be a cyanobacteria which by the process of endosymbiosis it got incorporated into the plant cells and it enabled the plant to also do photosynthesis. Some of the gram positive bacteria that includes actinomycetes they decompose soil. Then we have Bacillus anthracis. These are the cause of anthrax disease, which is a dangerous disease of humans as well as animals. 
then we have Clostridium botulinum. It is the cause of botulism disease in humans. Some Staphylococcus and Streptococcus, which can also be pathogenic, pathogenic occasionally. Then we have Mycoplasmas. These are the smallest known bacteria, and they don't have any cell wall. 